Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. Where have you been? You're welcome. Please subscribe to the subscription button, like it, like this video and other of my videos. Comment on the comment section. I'll be right there for you. And if you have been here, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. May God bless you. I'm here today to encourage someone to, I intend using my stories to encourage people. I grew up where people tell me that you are too tall. I was tall when I was growing up and I was so skinny. I was yeah. slim. Yeah. And people use these and they body shame me a whole lot. Yes, uh, it, it was not easy. So whenever sometimes people come to my inbox, I was like, eh, they body shame me. Someone told me that people are body shaming him because they have a big boobs. I was like, are you serious? Eh? <laughs> but you don't have to. You don't have to go through loneliness or through stress because of what people say. Now it doesn't matter to me. But then it was... A big, uh, it wasn't easy. I grew up when people tell me that you're too tall. Whenever I'm with my mates, they will tell me, please, hmm, go that side. Go that side. And anytime I'm with people, I feel, I feel that I'm off, you know, because I feel that by what they said, they are, they won't, they are normal. They are okay. But mine is too much. Uh, in fact, when I was growing up, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> even in the school, people would call me Otolo, Otolo go, go, go. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, uh, that I'm too tall, that, uh, you, you know, and then at my teenage, I didn't get it well while, when I was a kid, but at my teenage, um, they said, some somebody told me that everywhere is flat front and back is flat i don't know the kind of person you are in fact i began uh, i don't have much friends and i don't know how to go to people meet people and we became friends you know so whenever i meet someone i hold you tight very well because i don't want to uh, lose you i don't want to lose you uh, you know, I went off my way to make sure that you feel happy. I keep on explaining myself. No, this is what I say. This is how it happened. That, that, that just to keep you. And people now take it as an advantage to, to mess around with me. A, a whole beautiful be like me. Beautiful chick. In fact, nah, I have a fool, but no problem. All is all these teachings i don't know why you find it joy in making someone dear feel bad i don't know how you enjoy being the reason why somebody is crying it, it, it's not it's not a good one so i'm here to encourage you to tell you that you are not what they think in fact, now so many of them want to be my friend now. So many of them want to associate with me. So many of them want me to talk back to them, to reply them, to answer them, you know. But then, these people, you know, they don't. <laughs> but I thank God. So what you are going through today, it's not, it's not the end of it. You're going to see the better side, the brighter future tomorrow. So don't kill yourself. Don't weigh yourself down. Don't pull yourself down. That your girlfriend leaves you. It doesn't mean all is all has ended. That your boyfriend that you love so much, you sacrifice a lot to him. Doesn't mean that he left. It doesn't mean that the world has, God is not God again. It means that they didn't have the things it takes to have a beauty queen or a prince like you. So what you do is to dust yourself and you move on. You will see the, you will finally meet the, the, the prince and the princess that, you know, values you. So many things happen to so many people 
but don't allow those things to weigh you down. Don't die there. When I hear people killing themselves because someone lived there, I was like, mm, are you serious? <laughs> die because of someone? <laughs> no, it cannot. It can't happen. Don't kill yourself. Don't get too emotional because be emotional because someone say he doesn't want you in his life again or in her life. You are too beautiful to allow all these things get into you. You are too mature and too intelligent to allow these things get into you. So don't allow people to body shame you. Don't allow what they said to get in, 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 into you. When you have big boobs, use it, front it. That is your selling point. When you have book, big back, front it, that is what God gave you. When you are tall, thank God. When you are short, thank God. When you are beautiful, thank God. When you are more beautiful, thank God. When you are more, more beautiful, thank God. All of us are beautiful, yeah. But if you think you are more, 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 you know, we just have to thank God and appreciate God for what he gave us, what he did to us. If you have big lips, if you have small eyes, thank God. Be at anything you think God created with you. Appreciate God. Man, those things they say that cannot do. Those heels, they say if you wear heel, don't ever dream of wearing heel in your life. Now, I front heels. I wear heels. I wear shorts. In fact, I, I give God the glory. And it, 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 it's just it's just it's just so wonderful and i'm so happy thank you for listening thank you for for being part of me as a family i love you all